I've been fortunate enough to have the opportunity to play in this game since I was in fourth grade, and uh, I've been with the Panthers now for eight years, and it's never the right time to step away, but now is the right time for me, and it's a tough decision. I've thought about it a lot, and I think now is, is, is the right chance for me to, to move on. I still remember my first press conference in this building in 2012 after being drafted by the Panthers. How are you guys doing? Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. How you spell that? Keegley? Uh, K-U-E-C-H-L-Y. K-U-E-C-H-L-Y. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, let's be some dogs now. Let's be some dogs. Lou Keekley is a player that I've played against since 16 years old, from Cincinnati, Ohio. You know, played against Luke every year of high school. And then Boston College, Notre Dame, played against Luke again. Uh, it seems like I just can't avoid him, and he's definitely a linebacker that you want to avoid. Keekley slams him down like Wahoo McDaniel. Oh, I love the way he plays. That's the way you come up a sticking man in the mouth. Keekley, you are beautiful. Off the field, he's a choir boy. I mean, you know, all this curly hair and glasses, and people were like, yo, is this guy for real? You get, get more out of him. I'll get I don't have anything good for him. Very quiet. Very quiet. Goes onto the field, flips the switch, lunatic. Hey, I'm all over him. Hey, we gotta go now, Chuck. Left! Left! <laughs> Ain't nobody know you. You know, it's like, hey, where you come from? Just like that fly, when you're in the restaurant, there's one fly in the restaurant, but it's only flying on your food. Luke Keekley's everywhere on the field. That man's a tackling machine. I agree with you, he is a tackling machine. I call him Clark Kent, <laughs> who happens to turn into Superman on Sunday. As a rookie, Luke Keekley led the NFL in tackles, including 12 for a loss. Wow, Luke Keekley again. And the 2012 AP Defensive Rookie of the Year is... Luke Keekley. A year later in 2013, he made first team All-Pro and was voted the NFL Defensive Player of the Year. The legend of Luke Keekley just keeps growing and growing and growing. What can't this kid do? Where'd you learn your dance moves? I know where. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, they were, they were not good. I don't dance. There's plays I've made solely based on what I've seen on tape. Kind of have the same routine every week for what I do. All this stuff I write down, I'll probably, you'll see certain things, and, and if you know you make a couple plays because of that, I think it all ends up being worth it. Luke Keekley, he reminds me of Peyton Manning, a guy that is totally prepared, that is going to know what's going to happen before it takes place because he has studied so much. Here we go. He's one step ahead of everybody else. Hey, under smash combo, alert the hot. They threw hot last time. He's in total control of the defense. Left! Hey, crisscross! Hey, right here, Cap! Everyone looks to him uh, to get people lined up. Josh, squeeze! Hey, pick round, Colin! Hey, Mike! Get in the run! Ice! Ice! Get over here! It's so cool to watch because he's reading keys where he's almost making breaks on the ball before the offensive guy does. Whoa! up! Luke Keekley sees it, smells it, the guards and tackles pulling. He's so instinctive. I knew that was coming. He knew everything before it happened. Everything. You break the huddle, he comes down, he's like, watch the screen. Mike, screen! Oh, he's coming back this way, it's this way. Trap, 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 trap! And I'm like, man, how in the world did you know they were going to? Thomas, draw! Pass, Thomas, pass. Outside run! It just really makes the game easy. <laughs> Hey, we know all your damn plays, big dog. At least 60%, uh, he's gonna call out the plays. He's gonna tell you where you're gonna go. 
uh, even if you check, he knows the checks. It looked like a play where Luke Keekley knows exactly what the offense is going to do. He said, Jameis Winston, I'm going to step right in this throwing lane. What'd you see there? I've been waiting on that route for like ever. Eric, Eric Reed picked that route, same route last year at home. First and third down. It's really big. Remember that play? You know, as you study during the week, you can pick stuff up. You know, if he lines up here, he likes doing this. If this guy's on this side of the field, he likes doing that. If he lines up here, he's got a certain route tree he likes. Patriot! Patriot screen! That's when the game really starts to slow down. Keekley backs up. Manning from a clean pocket. <laughs> Into the air, incomplete. My goodness. Keekley reads the quarterback so fast and so well that you see plays like this. Uh, they want to cross the middle. I saw that on tape this week. Once it went four, I was like, I know what you're doing. <laughs> If you can find a couple plays during the game that you've either seen on tape or seen at practice and apply them in the game. Hey, TD, it's coming right here. You know, that's a part of the game. That's fun. Here's to the left. Keekley hit him. Knocked it free. Thomas Davis scooped it and rolled a touchdown. Come on, Keekley. See how quick he is to read this play. You feel his tackles. All day. All day. Oh, it's incredible. Check it out, guys. My new Pepsi nickname cans are here. Drink up. Uh, Luke, can I get one, too? Sorry, man. Those are my last two. Guess your out of Luke. Nice. Looks like my work here is done. I always knew I wanted to play football since I was a little kid. I don't know what it was, but it was always my favorite sport. And a lot of guys I liked watching growing up, Brian Erlacher was really good run in the middle of the field, always around the football. Derek Brooks was a great cover linebacker. Zach Thomas always had a million tackles. And then obviously Ray Lewis was Ray Lewis. I'm a machine, jerk! Those guys set the tone for what a lot of guys in the league now want to be like. By 2014, that's how most people were talking about Luke Keekley, whose name echoed on Sundays in an extended vow. The entire stadium just yelled out Luke together the Luke. Luke. Like, you know, it's, you hear that chant the whole game. He's easily 10, 15 tackles a game. Thou shalt not run up the middle or throw at the screen pass. So says the gospel, according to Luke. Oh. In 2014, Luke led the NFL in tackles again. Cam Newton calls that kid Captain America. His name is Luke Keekley, and he may very well be the best linebacker in the NFL. A year later, he led the Panthers to an NFC championship. He's tipped again. Keekley for the touchdown. You OK? And then aware enough to check on a fan who flopped down on the field, Keekley. Who runs this defense? Yeah, I was sitting on it all day. And he's a playmaker on the defensive side of the ball. He reads it, he drives on it, touchdown Carolina. Yeah, you're pretty cool. You're pretty good at what you do. Going to the Super Bowl. Welcome to Levi Stadium here in Santa Clara as we are getting set for Super Bowl 50. You want to succeed so that the last memories can be positive ones. Yeah, and on a high note. And sometimes stuff is just nothing you can do about it. The Denver Broncos are world champions. They have just won Super Bowl 50. The longer I've been in, I think you got to have something else that you enjoy doing. You like football, you do it all year round. There we go. So if you have something else you can concentrate on, I think it helps you out. Always like the fish. I've been doing it since I was a little kid, and the thing I think is fun is you're able to be outside and you can really just relax. Uh-oh. I think it's pretty, I think it's peaceful. This season's such a mental drag that it's sometimes nice to just get away and, and worry about something else. I wish I was as good at fishing as I was at watching tape.
Keekley's Panthers never got back to the Super Bowl. And even though he missed a few games due to injury in 2016, Keekley was as dominant as ever toward the end of his career. Wherever the ball was, that's where you could find number 59. Over his eight years in the NFL, no linebacker recorded more tackles, pass breakups, or interceptions. Four-man pressure, and Wilson in trouble. Flicks it out of the backfield, picked off Keekley. 10, 5, touchdown! <laughs> oh, we're going crazy up the hill! Hey, I can't wait to see your name up there. I can't wait to see your name up there. In January of 2020, Luke Keekley announced his retirement from the Panthers. You know, there's only one way to play this game since I was a little kid is, is to play fast and play physical and play strong. And at this point, I don't know if I'm able to do that anymore. And that's the part that is the most difficult is. I still want to play, but I don't think it's the right decision, so. It makes me sad because I love playing this game. It's my favorite thing in the world to do, and the memories I have from this place and this organization and playing on the field with these guys, they'll never go away. It was crazy, man. Being able to compete against him twice a year, he's what I, what I know is the best in the game for the past eight years. For him to retire like that was unexpected. I wish I would have been able to, to cherish him a little bit more. There was no media or fanfare. Keekley left football in the same unassuming manner in which he arrived. But he's not going far. He's been hired as a Panthers scout, where he can go on applying the film study skills that made him Luke Keekley. And perhaps uncover the next one. <laughs>